My ex is now married to my best friend. Um, how did that happen? We had a good relationship for six years. Um, we were engaged for two. Going towards the end of the two years of engagement, I asked him, I said, how come, you know, I've been wearing this shut up ring this long and you're not marrying me yet? I mean, what's the hold up? Because if you just put a ring on my finger so my hands can look cute, you can take it back. I can buy my own ring and put it on my finger so my finger can look good. I don't need your engagement, your proposal ring to be on my hand. And it's almost two years. If that's something you need to let me know, you need to tell me about it. Because this is not normal. I'm not okay with wearing this ring anymore. So he started acting like he has something to tell me. So then I say, if there's anything that you need to tell me, go ahead. And then he sat down for a while and he looked at me and I said, what is it? He said, I'm no longer in love with you. <laughs> I said, you serious? You no longer in love with me? I said, so when did you, when did you fall out of love? Before you engaged me or after you engaged me? He said, somewhere in between. I was like, you know what? You have to explain yourself. I said, if you're no longer in love, that means you're in love with somebody else. Who is it? He goes, um, I know this is not going to end up well. I said, it's not going to end up well for who? You or me? Because I'm the one who's about to be without, but soon, very soon, I will have somebody better than you. But either way, I know I'm going to be hurt first because if you fell out of love, that means you have fallen in love with somebody else. So go go, go ahead, spill the beans, open your can of worms, let them crawl everywhere. Let's just get it over with. He goes, I fell for grace. I said, oh, may she have grace on you. How long has this been going on? He said... It has been going on for a while, but I tried to, you know, ignore the feelings I was having for her because I knew you and I have been through a whole lot and I wanted to make this relationship work. I said, oh, so you wanted to make yourself unhappy because of me? He looked at me kind of shocked. I said, you wanted to make yourself unhappy because of me? So I look at him right through his nostrils, straight up his brains, through his eyeballs, and tell him, let me break it to you. I wouldn't dare make myself unhappy because of anybody, including you. But anyways, go ahead. So how come you and Grace haven't, didn't bring this out a long time ago, so we just... So we all could just move on with our lives and live happily with whoever is, you know, in love with us equally. He said, that's because Grace didn't want to agree. I said, agree to what? Intimacy? He said, none of that. She has refused to kiss me. She has refused to do anything personal, you know, with me. I was like, oh, she's kind of a good friend. I said, but then what motivated you to come and tell me? He goes, she did. I said, but you said she hasn't been interested. He said, no, she, she is in love with me too, but because of you guys' friendship and how long you guys been friends, she wanted me to break it to you if I was serious about wanting to be with her instead i was like oh well she's really civil about this isn't she uh, you know she's a girlfriend at the same time she don't want to be the one under the bus so since you the man you feel like 
You found your good thing in her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I, I respect the route she took. So you man enough, you got the balls, and you are telling me, okay, <laughs> respect for the both of you. No problem. No problem. And I go, so this is over, right? He was like, just like that? I said, hold up. How do you want this to work? You want us to go one more year? You want us to keep going after you and her start doing whatever? He was like, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, I mean, do I pack my stuff and leave right now? I said, when do you want to leave? Yes, hell yeah, you got to leave right now. All right, let's go. Let me help you pack so you can leave, please. I don't want to see another second of you around me. I need to start thinking about that other guy I like too. He was like, other guy. I said, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. You know, you, you, I want you to be happy because you're not happy with me and I am pleased and ready to move on with my life. So don't, don't be trying to get all nosy now. All right. We good. So let's pack your stuff so you can leave, please.